At least seven people are dead and still more are missing off the coast of Italy after a container ship crashed Tuesday night into a control tower. The incident happened around 11 p.m., but emergency services are still investigating the area looking for survivors. The ship, called the Jolly Nero, hit the tower with its prow, or the most forward part of the ship. NBC News reports the tower was hit during a shift change, so more people were in it than usual. The 164-foot-tall control tower, similar to ones in airports, toppled into the harbor. The BBC notes some of the victims were trapped in an elevator that fell into the dark water. Weather conditions were perfect at the moment of collision, though, so the cause of the accident remains uncertain. But the head of the Genoa Port Authority, Luigi Merlo, told a local newspaper the Jolly Nero should not have been where it was. It was too big for being in that position. The Guardian reports on a theory laid out Wednesday, which suggests two of the engines of the container ship jammed, rendering the Jolly Nero out of control. Although it's the first time an incident of this type has occurred in Italy's busiest port, the crash has stirred up the debate questioning overall safety in Italian waters. It's been just over a year since the Costa Concordia cruise ship disaster that killed 32 people. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.